16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Duds. 16-bit sports action. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Duds. Genesis Duds. Genesis Duds. Genesis Duds. Genesis Duds. Get Joe Montana free, Pat Riley free, Buster Douglas free, Super Monaco GP free, or Collins free. What Nintendo? Welcome to the Poor Man's Retro Game Room, and welcome to my top five Sega Genesis games of all time. Man, I absolutely love the Sega Genesis. I've had it since launch uh, back in the day. And uh, today I just want to give you my, in my opinion, the top five best Sega Genesis games, and my favorite five Sega Genesis games as well. Uh, what a diverse library, tons of games to pick from, over 700 in the U.S., of course. Um, just tons of different genres represented in the Sega Genesis library. It's, it's got an amazing, diverse library. So it was very tough coming up with five. <laughs> so uh, here's my top five. Um, but I also want to hear from you, and I think anybody watching this video would love to hear from you. What is your top five Sega Genesis games? What are some of the games that I left off my list that you think I criminally overlooked and should have put on the list and they should be on every Sega Genesis top five list? <laughs> uh, just remember, you know, it's this is my opinion, my list, and um, I gotta be honest, man. There's gonna be some heavy hitters missing from my list, absolutely. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you my top five Sega Genesis games of all time. In 1993, Sega released Shinobi 3, and uh, what an amazing game this is. Seriously uh, worth the wait. Um, technically, this game is amazing, and in my opinion, I think it probably pushes the Sega Genesis hardware to its limits. Um, the graphics, the soundtrack, uh, the sound effects, everything in this game is at a top-notch level. Uh, this is the best Shinobi game I've played so far, uh, and I love The Revenge of Shinobi, I love Shadow Dancer, um, but it seems like everything came together in uh, Shinobi 3 uh, to just make an amazing game and nearly a nearly perfect game, I will say that. Uh, you have several options available to you, several difficulty levels. Um, you can crank up the amount of shurikens you have. Um, you have a melee attack. Uh, you have an attack where if you hit jump just at the right time, you'll do a uh, somersault and fan out a uh, shuriken attack to hit several enemies, doing damage uh, you know, to several enemies at once. You also have, of course, the uh, trademark magic uh, that Shinobi has uh, to fight with as well. Uh, you have a blocking mechanic, which really, really does come in handy. <laughs> um, especially <laughs> with some of these boss fights, just everything you do, that that uh, blocking mechanic is awesome. Uh, you have a kick as well, where you can just jump up, you hit down, and, and you're using a kick. Uh, there's several different level types, so you've got the uh, you've got horseback. Uh, eventually, you'll be on a uh, like a gas-powered surfboard type of thing. <laughs> um, you'll fight there. Uh, the, the levels are excellent, excellent level design. Uh, the variety in levels is amazing as well. And this game just it just has it all, and you can tell the tender, loving care that. Uh, the developers put in on this game because it it greatly shows this is a showpiece for the Sega Genesis and absolutely belongs at number five on my top five Sega Genesis games of all time.
I get excited anytime I get a chance to talk about Shining Force 2. Uh, what an amazing game, what an amazing experience. And uh, when you hear people tell you that there's no good RPGs on the uh, Sega Genesis, uh, tell them about the Shining Force series. Uh, Shining Force 1 and 2, excellent. Excellent uh, strategy RPG games. Turn-based, um, with just some amazing graphics. Uh, the sound effects and uh, the soundtrack, of course, are top-notch again. Um, and I think that Shining Force 2 is just a little bit... It's more of the same from Shining Force 1, but it is a little, a little more polished. And for years, I would have put the original Shining Force as my favorite uh, Shining Force game. But Shining Force 2, I've delved into it lately here, and um, just the deeper I get into it, uh, the more I have to choose Shining Force 2. Incredible game. Uh, such an incredible story, and just there's tons of different party members you can take along with you, and you meet people as you go. Uh, it could be a fairly short adventure, um, but one that you'll want to repeat and go back and replay several times. The replayability is off the charts. Uh, what an awesome game. I highly recommend Shining Force 2. Um, man, play this game any way you can. Uh, just make sure and play it uh, at least once and really get into it. Give it a chance because it is so much fun. Uh, it's a really hard game to put down, that's for sure. So Shining Force 2 coming in at uh, number 4 in my top 5 Sega Genesis games of all time. And it really does earn that spot. What all can I say about Streets of Rage 2 that you probably haven't heard? Um, probably nothing other than give you my personal uh, experience with the game. Um, you know, the, the beat-em-up genre has always been one of my favorite genres. Uh, and when Streets of Rage came out, the original, man, I was blown away. Oh man, I love that game. I played it over and over and over again. And really thought, you know, Streets of Rage 2, how can it perfect... Um, on Streets of Rage 1, it can't do much better. And boy, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> just the uh, the size of the sprites, um, the fluid control, movement, um, the sound effects, the satisfying different attacks that you have, the different weapons that you can pick up. Uh, everything was improved upon. And um, in my opinion, this is the pinnacle of the Streets of Rage. 16-bit uh, games anyway what a what an amazing game and what a great game if you had a friend over you could always pop in Streets of Rage 2 and play some couch co-op uh, there was nothing like it back in the day it was awesome and you know my friends had Final Fight on the Super NES um, there, there were some good beat-em-ups on the Super NES but they didn't come close to uh, Streets of Rage 2 I'm sorry but they didn't uh, and you were limited on the characters that you could pick for uh, Final Fight, the, the first Final Fight. And um, it just, you know, it was a really good game, I would say that. It didn't have couch co-op, uh, which was a big hindrance to it. And then uh, Sega comes along with Streets of Rage 2 and they did everything right. Everything this game does is right. The only thing that I've heard people complain about, <laughs> and it really doesn't bother me that much, but people just hate the box art for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't think it's great. I don't think it's terrible. I really don't have an opinion on it. It, just, it doesn't do anything for me, that's for sure. Um, but, man, what, a, what an awesome game. The different special moves that you have. The challenge that the game is. Uh, it's not overly challenging, and it's pretty accessible, especially if you have... Uh, people come over and play couch co-op that really aren't used to playing retro games or tough uh, beat-em-ups. Uh, Streets of Rage 2 is a good way to go. And um, yeah, it's it's just a blast. This game, there's nothing like it. 
there's nothing better than Streets of Rage 2 found on any other console of this era at all, period. So, Streets of Rage 2, rock solid pick at 3. It was painful putting it at 3 and not number 2 or 1. Uh, but I have to be honest, and, and I think this game is the third greatest Sega Genesis game of all time. Streets of Rage 2. Presented by Data East. Once again, I am uh, selecting one of the later games on the system, uh, Mega Turrican. What makes this game so special is, is that it was completely designed for the Sega Genesis. Uh, no other console, it was designed for the Sega Genesis. And you can tell uh, how much love and, and care went into this game. It is an amazing experience. Um, I'm a fan of the Turrican series, uh, but Mega Turrican gets the uh, the thumbs up from me, man. It's it's the better of the two 16-bit versions. The Super Nintendo had Super Turrican, and it's a great game as well. Um, anything Factor 5 did, in my opinion, was pretty awesome back then. Um, but there's just something about the Genesis version, uh, Mega Turrican, that is better than the Super NES version. It's just awesome. The music, the uh, the level design, the bosses that you fight, and you'll see some similarities in all the Turrican games. Uh, but having a game just tailored for the Sega Genesis really allowed them uh, to, you know, put their best foot forward and use the best technology and make a game that that is just uh, completely optimized for the Sega Genesis. I would uh, contest too that. Uh, some of the boss fights, they're huge, of course, and uh, I think that it probably is a game that does push the hardware as well, and you'll find several games on my list that do that. Um, Mega Turrican is, is uh, one of those games. Um, you know, you got your grappling hook, uh, you've got several different weapons, you power up your weapons, the weapon power-ups are plentiful, you'll find them everywhere. Um, there's a lot of secret areas, a lot of secret areas that contain jewels that you collect, um, secret uh, areas that contain one-ups and power-ups that completely refill your health. Um, there's several different uh, variations on the level designs, like you'll be underwater. Um, it, it's just an amazing game, and every level is different, in my opinion. Every boss is different too, and uh, the bosses are some of the best uh, you'll find in any Sega Genesis game or any 16-bit game as far as that goes as well. Uh, what a great game, and I think it's a perfect, uh, strikes a perfect balance with difficulty and still being accessible to everybody. Uh, even maybe people who uh, don't play a lot of run and guns or a lot of adventure shooters. Um, this game is one of those games where you're going to start out playing it and you might not be that good at it. Uh, the more you play it, the better you get at it. Uh, the more you memorize the levels. There's a lot of tons of playability, replayability to this game. Uh, because you're going to want to play and you're going to want to try to continue to find secrets that you did not find the first playthrough. Or the second or third playthrough as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, I can't say enough about Mega Turk and I absolutely love this game. Man, if you get a chance to play um, any Sega Genesis games, make sure that you play Mega Turk. It is awesome. An amazing experience. You can't say enough about it. Mega Turk and absolutely deserves the number two spot on my top five Sega Genesis lists. And it was painful not putting it at number one, but I just couldn't do it. <laughs> when you see number one, you'll understand. <laughs> so. Uh, Mega Turrican, number two.
Man, I remember back in the day when Bloodlines was released, and uh, it was awesome. <laughs> it was like, yes, it's about time Konami gets on board with the Sega Genesis and releases a proper Castlevania game. And this game is not just a Castlevania game, it's a unique experience to the Sega Genesis. Um, back in the day, of course nowadays it's different, but back in the day you could not play this game on anything else other than the Sega Genesis. And uh, the first time playing this game, this is one of those games you can tell. It's a Sega Genesis game just by looking at it, by listening to it, by hearing the sound effects. And it was awesome. Us Sega Genesis owners had our own Castlevania game, finally. Um, man, this game is awesome. Uh, it can be challenging, of course, but there are different difficulty levels. Um, and it's really not that bad. Once you get to learning the pattern of the bosses and the enemies, um, it's not that bad. You can do it. Um, this is just one of those incredible games that come around once in a lifetime of a system. And uh, man, what an amazing experience. If you let go of your Sega Genesis too soon and missed out on this game, I suggest uh, playing it on one of the Konami collections that's available for all the modern platforms, uh, including the Switch. Um, it's completely worth it. That collection is completely worth it. It has so many great games, and uh, Castlevania Bloodlines is one of them. What an amazing experience. I'm really glad that this game is available on that collection because it, it preserves this game, keeps it out there. People that haven't played it, don't know about it, um, can now experience Castlevania Bloodlines in all of its glory. Um, what an iconic game, and you know, nowadays it's more iconic, of course, than it was back in the day. Um, and if you've spent any time collecting Sega Genesis games, uh, getting into the retro scene and the Sega Genesis retro scene, uh, Castlevania Bloodlines, you've heard of it. Um, Hopefully you've had a chance to play it, because it is awesome. Uh, two different characters to pick from at the beginning, um, with John Morrison and uh, John Morris and uh, Eric Lacard. And uh, I, I really like both of them, and it really gives this game some replayability, because you can play it as one character, come back, play it as another, and uh, maybe see some areas that you didn't see the first time. Uh, experience some things you didn't experience on the first playthrough. What a great game, great special effects, great, just an outstanding, super polished, excellent Sega Genesis game, and my favorite Sega Genesis game of all time, that's Castlevania Bloodlines. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I do appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around throughout the video. And here's a quick uh, recap. So we had Shinobi 3 at number 5. We had uh, Shining Force 2 at number 4. We had Streets of Rage 2 at number 3. And we had Mega Turrican, of course, at number 2. And then Castlevania Bloodlines at number 1. So there you go, that's my top five list. Like I said, I'd love to hear from you. Anybody watching this video, I'd love to hear from you. Let's get involved, let's uh, have a good discussion in the comments section. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.